Right, so back into the Expresso Kitchen right now. We hang out with the lovely Claire Allen morning. this morning. Yes, and how are you, Claire? I'm I must ask good. you because I just saw your Insta stories parting up a storm <laughs> at Ultra this weekend. Had a great hey. weekend, lots of fun, can't complain. Good, Blessed good, with good. the rain on Friday night. Yes, it was a good weekend. It was, it was a, a weekend. good weekend, but I'm ha glad you're back because we're making a delicious, healthy lunchbox snack or on the go mm -hmm. snack, whatever you want to call it cinnamon granola and apple bars. Yes, now wow. the lovely thing about guys. this Look recipe, at these guys. quick, easy, no real cooking, and you can use any type of fruit or nuts. We're using pecan nuts and dried apple, but if you want to use apricots, walnuts, you can have fun with this recipe, change it up a little bit. That's um, it. What we're going to do is, in a pot, we're going to add um, some coconut oil. That's it. I love the fact that you're using 100% whole grain oats for this one as well. It's delicious. It's so nice. And we're using the cinnamon granola that's got no raisins, no nuts, no seeds. That's it. Which is really nice. I personally actually don't like raisins. I'm also not a big fan of raisins or anything. So this, this kind of variant is, is actually perfect. Absolutely. And cinnamon. Come on, you can't go wrong with cinnamon, delicious can you? Delicious smell. So I've got honey, coconut oil, and some pitted dates. Yes. And add some beautiful um, flavor to that. So that is going to be like our glue. Yes, the, that's exactly. That's, glue. that's the glue. So in um, a baking tray, I've got some of our oats, and we okay. just toast it because we actually want to cook our oats. We want to put right. raw oats into our mixture, and it takes about five minutes at 180 degrees. You want it to just become nice and fragrant. Okay, and then you get a light brownish yes. tinge to it. There we go. I'm just going to give this a stir. All right. I mean, this is once down. again very, very easy. You can make it the night before. Um, it's quick and easy for the whole family Absolutely. as well. Lunchbox, so yes, please. If you, yes, please. Uh, if you can hand over our granola, our muesli and granola. Okay, so here we have the uh, jungle muesli cinnamon granola. Like you said, it doesn't contain any nuts or raisins. And it just smells absolutely delicious. Are you going to pop that in there? Absolutely, yes, please. All right, how so much? You can put it in a bowl. And here we go. I'm going to one and a half cups. So add a little more, a little more, a little more. Perfect. Thank you. Good. So you can mix this all in a bowl, but we've got a water crisis, less dishes, we're going to put it in <laughs> yes. the pot, less okay. dishes for the team. Can you right please add heat. our nuts, our nuts. And Here our we go. Uh, apple? Our pecan. The got keyword is jungle, is that to 33728, that's jungle to 33728, is that a good? Perfect, and our apple, and then we just want to pinch of salt. All right, and our dried apple. Yes. All of it? All of it. Nice, nice. okay. And then Not you can do a little back, bit of salt eh? bear. Just a pinch. <laughs> Just a pinch. Is that good? Perfect. Awesome. So we're going to get this all nice and mixed together. And then I've got a lined baking tray. Right. Over there. And if you feel like your mixture's not wet enough, you can always add a little bit more cinnamon, oh, cinnamon, sorry, um, honey and coconut oil. Okay, but you wanted a kind of a, a little bit of a sticky mess, but not too runny, no, obviously. No, no, no. So we're going to do is you've got a lined baking tray over here. A nice trick so you don't have to get your hands dirty. What we're going to do is we're going to use this. Right. Put that all together. You're going to use another baking piece of baking paper. Okay. And you're just going to push that down. Clever. Oh, you don't have to my Clever, you see now. I'm going to push this down. We put that into the fridge. Put it for about an hour so it's nice and cool down and set. And then what you can do is you can slice them up and you can enjoy as a snack, as and a treat. And they come out looking like exactly. this. Exactly. Put them in the lunchbox. I love the idea of putting them on a nice jar on the office table. Have them in the day. Grab a slice of this before you go to the gym. This is perfect. Absolutely perfect. The keyword, once again, is jungle. Is that to 33728. Check out our website, expressoshow.com, a little bit later on today as well. But if you want to see those steps one more time, here we have it. To make the cinnamon granola and apple bars, you'll need jungle muesli cinnamon granola, jungle oats, a pinch of salt, dried apples, vanilla, dates, honey, coconut oil, and pecan nuts. Chop the dried apples. Add honey, vanilla, dates, then stir. Add coconut oil and stir again. Add the jungle muesli cinnamon granola, chopped pecan nuts, salt, jungle oats, and chopped dried apples and mix. Add the honey mixture and mix again. Press the granola mixture into a dish, cover with baking paper and leave in the fridge to chill. For the full recipe, visit the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. You can also SMS the keyword JUNGLE to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost 1 round 50, no free SMSs and T's and C's apply. There you have it. That keyword once again is jungle. Is that 233728 to get your hands on this delicious um, cinnamon granola and apple bars. Perfect for the lunchbox. Perfect to start your week off as well. Claire, thank you very, Absolute very much. Pleasure. It will be on our website as well, expressoshow.com. A little bit later, go check it out and try it out. It's kept South Africans going longer <laughs> and stronger for almost 100 years.